Hi, welcome to Moo Moo Math. Today we're going to look at the area of composite figures. So we've got a hexagon here and we've got a rectangular type shape on top and a parallelogram type shape on the bottom. So the first thing I'm going to do is draw in a line to separate this figure into two separate shapes. Then I'm going to find the area of each shape and then add those together. So let's take this rectangle first. We have a rectangle that measures 8 by 6, so 6 times 8 is 48. So that's the area of the rectangular piece. Now let's take the parallelogram on the bottom. Okay, this dimension right here, this top dimension, well it's parallel to this top part, so it's also 6. And then I'm going to drop an altitude down right here because I need to know this height because the area of a parallelogram is length times the height. Not the slanted part, but the actual altitude. So I've got this height being 12. Well, that's the height of the whole figure. So what I've got to do is I've got to take this top portion off, which is 8. So 12 minus 8 is 4. So that's the height or the altitude of my parallelogram. So the area of my parallelogram is 6 times 4 or 24, and that adds up to 72 square centimeters. So that's the area of this composite figure. Now I'm going to take this next figure and we're going to look at it in two different ways. First we're going to break it into parts and then I'm going to teach you the subtraction method. So this one is just like the top one. I'm going to take this and divide this into parts. So I've got to draw either horizontal or vertical lines to make this uh, line up nicely. I'm just going to draw some horizontals. So I'm going to draw one here and here. So let's see. This height right here is 9, nine meters. And this length is 4, so that area is 36. Because 6 times, or 4 times 9 is 36. But then I've got this other side that's the exact same. So I'm going to add another 36. So, so far I've got 72 square meters. Now let's go down to this bottom section. Hmm. I know this portion is 6 but I don't have the whole distance across, but I do have the parallel parts. This part we know is 4, and this part we know is 4 because of this top piece. So let's add that together. 4 plus 6 plus 4, that's going to add to 14 meters. Okay, now the height. We know the height of the whole figure is 11. We've got to subtract off the 9 that we know, so this is 2. So that means this rectangle down here measures 14, right? 14 long, but only 2 high. So 14 times 2 gives us another 28 square meters. So let's take 72 and add another 28, and that's going to give us um, 100, 100 square meters for our area. Now that's the way to break it into sections. So that's what the first two represent. Now this next one, I'm the same figure as the second example, I'm actually going to show you the subtraction method. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at it as one large figure. So I'm going to close this off, okay, and I'm going to make a big rectangle. So I can now figure out this length. Well, a minute ago, didn't we say that was 4 plus 6 plus 4, so this dimension was 14. Okay, 14, and the whole side is 11. So I'm going to find the area of the entire figure. So let's see, I'm going to grab my calculator for this. 14 times 11, that's 154 square meters. Now, I need to take out this section that's empty. Right here, I'm going to subtract off the section that's 9 by 6. Well, 9 by 6, 9 times 6 is 54. So when I subtract those two, I end up with the same answer of 100 square meters. So those are the two different methods you can use to solve these. Okay, now let's go down. Let's do one more figure. I wanted to do one that had three parts. Okay, this one has three sections, and you could use the method where you fill the whole area in and then subtract parts, but you would have one, two, three parts. I think this one's just as easy to divide up into sections. So I wanted to do one with a triangle. This one actually has two triangles. So let's see if we can figure this one out. Okay, the area of the rectangle is just 10 times 15, which is 150. 
okay, square meters. Now this triangle, remember the area of a triangle is one half the base times the height. So we need to know the base of this triangle, which we do because it's parallel to this piece. So that's 15 and the height, well the height inside here is eight. So let's multiply that out. We've got 15 times eight, and then we divide that by two to multiply by half. It's the same as dividing by two. So that section is 60 square meters. So we've got 150 for the bottom and 60 for this top part. Now let's find this third, this second triangle, the third piece of the puzzle. Okay, this is a right angle, so I'm looking at a right triangle. This height right here is parallel to this one, so that's 10. So 10 times 9, all times a half, one half base times height. So that's going to give me half of 90, which is 45. So now let's add those up. 150 plus 60 plus 45. Let's see, that's 105. So that's 255 square meters. And that is our answer to this problem. So I hope this video has been helpful on different ways to find the area of composite figures.